cash and profit still on accounting so cash it's what we, what we spend on that's money and profit is the return on investment or you can simply say total revenue minus your total cost so why is cash not money or uh, profit cash is not profit because transactions some different transactions could occur that will affect cash and not affect the profit so what are those transactions number one the purchase of the purchase or sale of a fixed assets when we purchase a fixed asset, we use cash to purchase it. Yes or no? Yes. When we sell a fixed asset, we use cash. We, we receive cash when we sell. Yes or no? Most of the time, businesses will sell their assets, the unused assets, not the assets that are useful for them. So either you buy an asset or you sell an asset. What you get is what? Cash. So buying an asset will reduce your cash. But doesn't have any impact on profit. Do you get the point? Yes, yes. Selling an asset, it doesn't mean you are selling a product, so it does not count as profit, but it increases your your cash. Are you with me? So the other side, the purchase of a, or sale of a fixed asset will increase or decrease cash, but does not affect profit. Why? This is capital item. It affects the balance sheet, but it is not entered in the profit and loss account. So selling an asset, asset does not reflect your statement of pro, uh, statement of comprehensive income. Your comprehensive income is about your sales, your revenue, your profit. Asset is part of your statement of financial position. So there are two separate things. So your statement of financial position talks about your assets, your liabilities, and the capital. Your statement of in or comprehensive income statement talks about your income, your expenses. And profit. So when you sell an asset, an asset does not is not an item in the statement of pro, uh, in the statement of profit and loss or your income comprehensive income statement. It is not. So selling it or buying doesn't have any impact in your, in your income statement, or does it? Mm -hmm. It is. It doesn't because they have they are separate items. Mm -hmm. Furniture, they are, the they are not the same. Item like fixed asset like furniture, fittings equipment machinery these are fixed assets we call them fixed assets because they could last more than a year these items you will never find them in your statement of profit or loss and comprehensive income you will not find them so whatever you do with them will not affect it so that's why it will not so cash as soon as you sell an asset you receive cash yes or no so cash is part of your short term uh, it's part of your current assets so your current asset of cash has what? Increased. Clear? Do you get it? So when you sell an item, it increases your cash. Mm. When you buy, it reduces your cash. It reduces your cash, but it increases your fixed asset. Do you get the point or not? What does it do to fixed assets? When you buy an asset, when you, when you buy a fixed asset, for example, equipment, mm -hmm. your cash, your current, your current asset of cash would reduce. Yes. At the same time, your non-current assets of equipment ah, will, increase. will increase. Yes, yes. It does not have anything to do with profit. Is the first one clear? Yes. The second one, the introduction of capital or withdrawal of cash, drawings, look at drawings here now, I told you. Mm -hmm. The introduction of capital, that means the owner of the business put money into the business, it's called capital. When it withdraws, drawing. So this introduction, would not affect profits. It only increase the capital. So amounts are entered in the cash account and balance sheet, but not in the profit and loss account. So you have it in your cash account and the capital account. Mm. So your cash will increase. Yes. Your, your capital will increase, but not profits. So drawings or capital would not affect profit because it's not an item in your statement of profit or loss and other comprehensive income. Clear? Clear. The third one. Loans received or repaid and, invest, and investment bought or sold. Investments, loans. When you receive a loan, it increases your current, your non-current liability. Because we have current liabilities and non-current liabilities. Non-current liabilities are those debts that we have to pay back after a year. Mm -hmm. That is non-current. Then we have current liabilities, which are debts that we have to pay within a year. Example of a current liability is your trade, uh, your trade creditors. 
your suppliers that you bought you bought on from credit your bank overdraft like i explained earlier the credit facility you have to withdraw more than your available balance these are short term so they are current liabilities so if you take a loan from the bank it increases your non-current liabilities it does not affect your profits do you get it yes. what will affect your profit is the interest paid on the loan because interest paid on the loan is not part of the interest there it's not part of a statement of financial position it's an item in the statement of profit or loss and other comprehensive income so interest on loan will affect profit but not loan do we get it yes. are you sure yes non-cash items for non-cash items said reduce increased profit with no effect on cash flow depreciation of assets increase or decrease of depreciation of bad debts so these are non-cash items for example the interest we've talked about provision for bad debts what is provision for bad debts provision for bad debts means you are preparing yourself in case the debt goes bad some of your trade uh, your credit customers will not pay back they might not pay back so the debt becomes irrecovered so you make provision for that it is part of your expenses so these will affect your profit or or your profit or loss because in your comprehensive income in your statement of profit or loss and other comprehensive income you can make, either make profit or make a loss is it clear yes so that's the why that's why cash is not the same as assets mm -hmm. as profits clear now they said okay we have non-cash gains non-cash gain put okay here look at this non-cash gain increases profit but not cash what are non-cash gains like okay provision for bad debt profit on the sale of a fixed asset when you sell an asset it is not a profit but if you you are able to sell it more than the cost of it then you made a profit so it increases your profit do you understand it's a non-cash item you get my point here yeah, yeah. so if your bad debt is recovered your profit comes back to you you make provision for bad debt right mm -hmm. which is an expenses if the bad debt is recovered, it becomes income. It then your profit. The profit. Thank you. Okay. Do you get it? Non-cash expenses decreases decreases profit, but not cash. Non-cash expenses. That means we don't need to pay cash for these things, like depreciation of fixed assets. Your fixed assets. You know what fixed assets are, right? Yeah, Equipment yeah, and this. Yeah. There's depreciation, which is the wear and tear of an asset. So when you make when there's depreciation about an asset. The value of the asset goes down, but it is not cash. It's profit. No. No, it's value. It's, oh, okay. the, it is not physical cash. <laughs> equipment. It's equipment. <laughs> it's equipment, <laughs> but it doesn't have to do with cash. Though we know the value is going down. The value, yes. So that's what they said. It's profit, but not cash. Yeah. So the profit you're going to make would reduce, but your cash still remains because it does not affect cash at that point in time. Mm -hmm. Depreciation is an expenses. You get it? Provision for depreciation is an expenses. But it doesn't mean physical cash. You have to take it away from your gross profits. That's the only thing you do. Get the point here. In your income statement, as soon as our sale, cost of sales is done, our cost of sales from our minus sales gives us our gross profit. So all overheads, all expenses, office expenses, are taken away from the gross profit. That's how we get our net profit or the profit for the year. So, provision for depreciation is an expense, is an item in our expenditure. So, we take it away from gross profit. So, that means it will affect our profit, not cash. Is it clear? It's non cash item. Cash gain, both profit and cash. For cash gain, you put cash into it and there's gain on it. So, it's going to, as soon as you make profit, Cash will increase, profit will increase. Mm. Because cash is increasing here based on the fact that it is about cash. So in as much as your cash is increasing, your profit will increase. Both increase. Both increases because it's a cash gain. Mm. Cash gain means cash profit. Like, give us an example of cash. Example. Profit. When you sell, mm. I bought it for one. Mm. I'm selling for 1.5. Mm. The profit is 0 0.5. Mm. My cash has also increased. My profit has increased by 0 0.5. Oh, okay. My cash has increased by 0 0.5. Mm. Clear. Clear. Good. Cash expense. 
will affect both profits, uh, will affect both cash and profit. Expenses on cash. Oh, we bought this as an expenses. We bought it from our office. Our office bought this or part of our stationery. We bought it. Mm -hmm. We're going to use cash to pay our suppliers. Yes or no? So it is part of an item in the income statement. So it means it's going to affect our profit and at the same time affect our cash. cash yes. Is it clear? Mm -hmm. So do we now know the difference between cash and profit? Any question about it? No. Good.